Yeah, firstly, thank you all for coming. Um, today I'll be announcing my retirement from the game that I love so much. Well, but I'm here to say that this will be my last year at the Swans, um, retiring after 14 years in the system. Announced the players on the Monday and, and uh, I sort of said it was strange because you get all the well wishes and the support and people almost think that you're finished there and then. Um, but the reality is we still had one game to go and it was, it was important to finish our careers hopefully the right way but also for the club to finish on a right note and and that was the priority going in. Well, I just wanted to get back and, and play footy and, um, and be able to have that nervous feeling before a game again and I was fortunate that I got to, uh, to do that on, on Saturday. Uh, when I got to the club and started going through preparations I probably felt a bit more relaxed than normal initially and the nerves probably hit with about 20 minutes to go, 10 minutes to go. Uh, it was a bit of a surreal feeling that this was going to be the last time that we run out again together and we went in for a team meeting actually. There's a video there, a video package of, of, of sort of the four of us that were finishing up and that was, that was really emotional. I think the emotion hit just as we were lining up for the race. It's normally a, a time where it's it's sort of positive energy and it's a bit of rah-rah and there's a bit going on there, it's quite noisy, but it was sort of eerily quiet in a way. And then and Macca actually, <laughs> Macca, Macca broke the silence. I sensed the moment. He sensed the moment as he does so great. He, and I still remember it. He's just yelled at her, it's good to be back boys. <laughs> and I sort of looked at him and I was like, far out. It is good to be back with Macca for, you know, for one more time. Forget. I don't know, what were you thinking? Yeah. What, were you, what, were you, what were you doing? <laughs> No, I just felt it was really quiet myself and I thought, and you know, you're always trying to get a sense of, um, you know, the boys on today, which I knew they always would have been, but it was more just to get that energy out and get us going, get us pumped up, you know, because we we're about to run out. So, I don't know, that's just, it just come to my head and I felt good. Well, Lear, Lear in the ruck against Marshall and Hanabry nearly took it with him. The teammate out the back and now McVeigh inside forward 50. Does the team thing, looks for Kennedy and finds him. Looking to change up the point of attack, found Jack Hatley, got a man over the top in heat. We got on a bit of a roll and, um, you know, the boys were humming, um, you, know, we'll, you know, our mids were playing really well, Joey Kennedy and Parksy, you could just tell uh, something in their eye, you know, they wanted to win and it was, um, you know, Joey's performance on the day was unbelievable, just Parksy getting a fingernail in here and there and diving around as he does and, um, yeah, you could just tell the boys are jumping on board with those guys and um, you know, we were never going to lose um, that game. Now Papley in plenty of space here. Carlisle's not going to get there. He's got teammates heading towards the goal square, but Carlisle did well just to slow Papley down. Who goes to McVeigh, who can play on and steady, and he does kick a goal in all 16 years in the AFL. What a farewell present from Jared McVeigh. It's exciting stuff, and look at his teammates celebrating with him. You can see what it meant to him. Well, well, I missed the one from 45 out out in the fall, which I knew that would test you. It was uh, I, I, you know, I had a sore quad during the week. The old Mac, um, the old Mac would and then Horse it. actually got into me at half time and said, "You've got to handball those, mate." And it was pretty dirty on me. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, old mate, I'm, I can kick that." Yeah, um, you can. So then. I just needed to bide my time because I saw Paps got it and I looked around and I was, I was free for a split second and just had to bite. I didn't want to go too early and start screaming because I knew uh, Savage, I think it was, was on me because he knew what was happening. And then uh, fortunately little Paps, which I'll never forget, gave me a little, uh, little kick. The umpire said play on and, um, and just that emotion and running around, carrying on. But then seeing the whole team come to you is uh, other than Probably the grand final, that's one of the most happiest moments I've had. Well, I think it was his first goal for the year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in the last quarter, that was, yeah, that was, it was really special. And I, I still remember the scenes of, of Macca, you know, throwing the arms up to the crowd. And, and then I started doing it out to the wing as well. It was, it was just a, it was a great, great moment and, and a great reward for a bloke who's given so much to the club. And, um, well, I just wanted to hear that Sydney chant one more time, to be honest. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, when it's a close game and the crowd do that here, it's, it's a pretty special place when it's loud here and um, 
uh, the emotion gets ahead of ahead of you sometimes. Yeah. Dawson, who was trying to find Lloyd, he bounced the way of Marshall. Franklin again, a second and third effort, and no free kick because he went easy He's on the big man. Kieran shot. Jack, have a shot. The fans want him to go for goal. Kieran Jack, what a moment! They both got a goal in the final turn. He had four loose players he could have picked to, and all four of them had led him to space, but as one, they all pointed to the goals and said, have the shot. Absolutely extraordinary stuff. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity. Once Macca kicked his, I was like, all right, I'll be, be, I'm going to search for one here, but I, was, <laughs> but I was from the back line, so I was running forward a fair bit to try and get one. Um, and then Joe and I had a bit of exchange and we put Tommy McCartan down back. And I remember a turnover happening in the middle of the ground. And normally I'd probably keep pushing up to try and slide and help my teammates, but I thought, nah, stuff it. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on here. I'll, I'll, I'll sit out the back and hopefully they can get it to me. And you know I was free. Right, so I was pointing, yeah. leading, and then I've realised, oh, that's Kizza. And then I've gone from that to that. The funny thing was, so... I, I've looked and I, I genuinely looked inside. I genuinely looked inside. And all I saw were, um, you know, Rudy, Blake, you know, yeah. Parksy, and Tommy Papley. Paps was doing the big wind up at the back. But all the points were straight to goals. And then I looked forward and I saw Macca pointing to one in front. He wanted a leader. <laughs> no, but then I went like no, that. In, in credit to you, no, I did see the thumb go out the back. So I thought, right, I've just got to have a crack here. And uh, I was, yeah, kind of, I just flushed it. I just hit it perfect. And, and um, you know, in front of the members, yeah, that was it cool. was, uh, yeah, a memory I'll never forget. It was, you know, in terms of SCG moments, for me and personally, that's, just, that's, just, that's right up there amongst it. That was really special. Absolutely extraordinary stuff. And this has gone perfectly for the Swans. Have a look at all the numbers that he's got running ahead of the ball. He hit it sweetly too, oh. guys. He had Sydney players everywhere. Such a good club. Ten seconds. Down to tick by. Away the free kick. The siren is about to sound. The Bloods in a celebration game get the job done. Buddy a winner in game 300. And McVeigh and Kieran Jack with final quarter goals in front of a big crowd at the SCG. Oh, just a wave of emotion, tears and uh, relief as well. Um, it had been a tough five weeks to get back and had, you know, had a couple of setbacks and just to, to finally be out there and to know, you know I got to play again was um, you know, just an amazing feeling and all the boys and um, the teammates who didn't play on the field and um, you know, we were, we were both very thankful and I'm sure, I'm sure Reggie and Nick Smith are of the St Kilda boys for, uh, for staying around and um, you know, it was great by them but yeah, just, um, you know, I just kept looking around the crowd just you know, soaking it all up, it was, um, yeah, it was great. It's rare that you have five, um, yeah, five get up. Um, you know, with Dan Hennebury, our great mate there as well, which was fantastic. Another, you know, moment as well. Um, yeah, look, it's something I'll never forget. I'll get one of those photos put up on the wall one day, and um, and be very proud to to sit alongside these guys and um, and and you know, call them friends. Uh, it was, it was, other than winning a grand final and you know you generally lose your last game because we've played finals um, uh, most years a lot of our retirees have lost their last game so it was a, it was a bit different but it was fantastic. Yeah, I think it's a, a 
great testament to how you guys led the club. Um, the spirit that you showed right there was fantastic. Appreciate that. Um, congratulations to uh, Kizo, Anka. Um, go out like that. Uh, I think after that moment was probably the best for me. We sat in our change rooms in our lockers and had a few beers with our families and friends and you know, normally that's just reserved for the players but to see that room full, I've never seen that before and the emotion was um, yeah, one of the best things I've, 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 I've had in footy. Yeah, yeah I agree. It was, um, I've never seen it before. That's, mm. it's, we normally keep the, the, uh, the change room as inner sanctum and, and uh, but on the weekend it was it was chock full. There was everyone in there, and it was just awesome. Like it was um, the boys. It, it was kind of like winning a grand final, which is you know it was seems ridiculous. Seems ridiculous <laughs> because the year hasn't been the way that we would have wanted the year to go. Um, but in terms of a a final ending for the season and you know the opportunity that was there, it was it was delivered in spades, and it was um, yeah it was just great.